joy! We made it to Pickup's video number 10! Let's hope for many more! Woohoo! Hey everybody! I know, I do that a lot. Hey! Hi! <laughs> How y'all doing? Welcome to another Pickup's video. Now, one of my favorite types of pickups is when I buy a lot and it's not in a box. I mean, sometimes I like getting a box because then I can use the box for other things or store some overflow games until I can get the proper bookshelves like the ones behind me over here and back here uh, to display them correctly. Um, sometimes I get them in plastic bins and and such like that and sometimes the plastic bins are very useful because then one once again helps me store the overflow but in this case what i got along with the collection it's actually gonna be in other departments other than my video game collection uh, and i got some random stuff in there too so let's get to it first off complete inbox Right, complete inbox. NFL by LGN NFL National Football League. Football. Yeah. Crazy, right? Now I paid I, th I think he was asking 180. I think I ended up paying 155, 160. Now I don't know the value of all this stuff total but i know there's enough stuff in here to where i at least got my money's worth and hopefully you will agree with me because complete box games they're not cheap um next one space shuttle i know it's a simulation game and what's kind of cool um i don't necessarily like stickers half the time but if you're an old school collector like me let's see if it'll actually Focus, focus. You can see that that says video game swappers. Any old school collector um, from the from the west, west coast, namely California, uh, Bear Oaks area, or Sacramento, Citrus Sites, in the general vicinity where I am, uh, know of video game swappers. Other places know of. Funko Land or other shops like that. Video game swappers is near and dear to my heart. That's those were the places I went to get my games when I was knee high to a grasshopper. So it kind of warms my heart that I had a video game swapper sticker. Uh, now, when I first saw this, I got a little concerned because I thought it was Top Gun One. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know I already picked that up, complete in box, from Fair Game. This is not. It is the second mission. So I have both games complete in box. <laughs> I didn't plan out to get both games, but I do now. Uh, a game that I already had, but I did not have complete in box, is Tetris. Now, all these boxes are in really good condition. Um... I'm actually shocked how how well uh, how well the boxes were. I mean, there are some wear and tear on the corners. Uh, that's bound to happen. But let's be real. Uh, these games are from the 80s. Slash, maybe like 1990, 91. Uh, they're over 20 years old. The fact that they're in the shape they're in. You know what I mean? I'll take them. Uh, Knight Rider. Ooh, Knight Rider, do, 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 by claim. Man. Whew. Sorry, things are a little dusty because, well, the containers are in there and are a lot dirtier than I thought they would be. Um, Major League Baseball, complete and box. And this one... You know, if you saw my previous pickup study, you know I already have it, but I didn't have it complete in box. What? That's right. I got another copy of Stealth complete in box. Um, like I said, I don't mind buying the same game twice if I'm upgrading, and I'm upgrading because now it's complete in box. Now, 
uh, that's, those aren't all the games, but those were just the complete in box games. And, uh, you know, f a few extra things that I got was... Got the orange zapper gun. Uh, you, if you see my previous studio, you know I got the gray one from Fair Game. I did not have the orange one. Now I do. Little dusty. Sorry. Ah, ah, dust. Now I got the orange zapper gun. And it can't... Uh, well, I'll get to that in a second. Here's the randomness that I'm talking about. So, I'm sure there's a reason why this was included in here. This is a RF modulator. Now, I do not know if the RF modulator works, um, but to kind of put it simply, it's to help older TVs be able to be connected to systems that use audio video cables. And unfortunately, it does not have stereo, it only has mono. Um, but they're nice to have, especially, you know, uh, if you have like some of the older, really old TVs that don't even have AV jacks. Uh, like the old school console TVs uh, from like, I'm going to say the 70s. Yeah, we'll go with the 70s. Way before my time. Uh, but I grew up with one. My my parents had one in the living room. That's why we had the console TV. Um, it, it, you know what I mean? You needed one of, the, one of these doodads to get to work. Otherwise, oh my goodness, it is such a chore uh, to get, like, the Nintendo to work on them. Um, and I also got three controllers. They all work. And you're like, three controllers? Wow, you're just getting random accessories, aren't you? I'm getting there. So, first off, the first container I got was this thing. Uh, this is actually a cleaning caddy. I think it's called the ultra caddy and most people use it to put their cleaning supplies in so while they're cleaning they can just take all their cleaning supplies with them wherever they're cleaning uh, sometimes it's easier to have other stuff to you know so you can carry it around right now this container <clears throat> yes that is a green laundry basket now what's funny about that is the laundry basket may be dirty now, but once we clean it out, we actually needed a new laundry basket, so, or another laundry basket. So we got one included in the lot along with the video games. So of course, I mean, I think what, the laundry basket's what? A couple bucks, five bucks? The caddy's probably what, a couple bucks, two bucks, two, three bucks? Uh, let's average it out, let's say, Five, six bucks for the two containers. So six bucks for the containers. And then those games, let's say they're ten bucks a piece. Uh, I highly doubt it because so, they're complete in box. They're probably more like fifteen. And there's seven there. So let's see, fifteen, thirty, forty-five, sixty, nine, uh, seventy-five, ninety, hundred and five. So if these, if those, those seven complete box games were ten to uh, fifteen bucks each, that's one hundred and five plus six. That's one hundred and eleven right there. One hundred and eleven of the one hundred and fifty-five, hundred and sixty that I paid, and I'm not even done. Now here's what's cool. Comes with two, not one two Nintendo systems. Now, the person did tell me that one works and one does not. When testing them, they both worked. So, I'm not sure what the seller was referring to. Um, could be that it was just dusty, need to be cleaned, not really sure. Uh, but when when I hooked them up, both of them worked, and I picked a, uh, picked a cartridge out of my collection rather than one of the games that I got with it, uh, because I didn't know if those cartridges worked yet. I know everything else in my collection works, uh, so I used, of course, Legend of Zelda, because, well, why not? Uh, both of them work. All three controllers work. Now you know why I had three. Um, and, oh my goodness, 
I'm not even done with the games, dude. I'm not like I can't even. So I di I did also get a random coax cable that probably goes with the RF modulator. Oh. Got a coax cable that goes with the RF modulator. Um, kind of random. Um, of course, then you got the Nintendo hookups and all that. Uh, but getting back to the games, I do apologize. Uh, some of these games are pretty iconic or pretty pretty decent. Um, there's Paperboy, which you know I already have, but doesn't hurt to have an extra copy. Uh, Operation Wolf. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I would have been a little bit happier if it was just regular Punch Out because I already have Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, but Mike Tyson's Punch Look at the label. The label is actually in really good condition, all things considered. Um, tag Team Pro Wrestling. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. All right. Um, and of course, Robocop from Data East. There's more. I just gotta open it, it. By the way, it also comes with a little container full of games too, which is kind of cool. And I'd like to point out, Nintendo branded. Let's see if it'll stop. Ugh, Nintendo branded uh, storage. All right. Let's see. We have Kid Nicky. Uh, another copy of Days of Thunder. Hogan's Alley. Spy vs. Spy. All-Star Baseball. Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one. Which, by the way, this is actually my third copy uh, uh, that I own all at the same time. Because I owned it loose. Then, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I bought it complete in box from Fair Game. Which would be copy number two. And this is now copy number three. Dude. Um, excite a bike. John Elway's quarterback. Look at that label, dude. Oh my goodness. Like, I think this person took care of their stuff. Um, now, if you notice, I did skip a game because I am in awe. Not because of the game. The game is Willow. But look at that label. It is clean. There's not a lot of... There's like barely any damage, if any at all. Maybe a couple scuffs. But for the most part, the label is super clean. Oh my goodness. And no, I did not own Willow before. I do now. That is definitely a game I'm probably never going to get rid of. Um... There's two more games. Two more. There's Bible Adventures. Let's see if you can actually read that through the case. And if you've seen my videos, you know I have a sealed copy, and I was debating whether or not to open that copy of Bible Adventures. Well, collectors rejoice, because now that I have a loose copy, I will not be opening that sealed copy. That sealed copy is going to stay, well, sealed. It's not a big title game. I don't think it's worth a whole lot of money. But when you have a sealed game, you want to try and keep it sealed as long as possible. I like the idea of sealed games opening them because then you're the only one that has played them. But I also like keeping them sealed. So I was kind of going back and forth whether or not to open it. 
when I got that, I don't have to open it now. So it will stay sealed. And finally, copy of Duck Hunt. Now what's cool about this is, um, if you notice, uh, let me show you the back of Bible Adventures. Um, usually video game swappers did stuff like that. But here's what's really cool, and this takes me back. Nostalgia at its max. Another video game swapper sticker. But it actually came with one of their Nintendo periodicals from 1991, right? Oh my goodness. 1991. That is insane, dude. Um, but see, what's really cool about this, and obviously I don't think they actually sold them, but it has... Uh, Stadium events listed as $91. $91. Now see, I can't remember if this is what they sold them for or if this is what they uh, what they traded in for. It could be that this is what they traded in for, right? Uh, and I could be completely wrong, but the nostalgia, the feels, you know what I mean? This takes me back. I remember these. And if you remember going to like Video Game Swappers or Funko Land, and you remember the small little periodicals they had, dude, leave a comment in, in, in below the video. Let me know where you went for your games when you were younger. And with that, that's going to do it for this pickups video, and I'll see you guys next week. If you like this pickups video, please click the share, the like, notification button, and please subscribe to my channel so you can be in the loop for all my future videos.